This video is going to save you $70. Mario Wonder is not what you think. It's not that great of a game. And all the reviews are saying the total opposite. And I didn't even want to make this video. But after scrolling on YouTube, I realized that all the reviewers, all the people are saying the same exact things. They're praising this game, saying it's so good, so innovative, and so great. And the reality is it's not great. It's actually a horrible game. There's no innovation. There's actually there's so many things. There's three major things that I'm going to get into this video. Why this game sucks and why you shouldn't buy it. I'm trying to save you $70. Even if I could just save 100 people $70, I would love to save the world $70,000 from just not buying this game. But before I get into what's like so horrible about it, the reason you're seeing only positive reviews, because I know that's what most people are thinking, well, why are all the reviews positive? Think about this. Just think about this from a business perspective. All the people who have gotten these games early, early access reviews, they're all incentivized to give good reviews. Why would they give bad reviews in the first place? Because – Nintendo is sending them early access. They're giving them the games early. They're giving them special perks. And they're only going to give special perks to the people that they know are going to help sell the game, that are going to help build the brand. So they're going to say good things. And from the consumer side of things, they're going to say good things because they want to keep on getting good games. It's why Nintendo won't send me any games anymore. It's because they know I give it to you real. I give you the actual facts about these games and I don't fluff it up. And I'm not going to tell you that a game is great when it isn't great. So with that being said, an honest review, an honest expectations check about this game. If you're excited about getting this game in the first place, I just hope you're excited about getting it for like your three-year-old or maybe your four-year-old. If you have like a niece or if you have any kids or something, maybe you can let a little kid play it. But honestly, if you're like over the age of six, I don't know why you'd be excited for this game. Because it's the same freaking crap that my grandpa played when he was born. They say Nintendo is so innovative for the things that they do, but reality check, it's the same freaking crap that they did in the very first Mario game. Bowser comes, is a bad guy, and Mario just runs side to side. They didn't change anything. This is still the same 1950s formula that they've been using for the last 80 years. And guess what? It doesn't work. It's 2023. We now have virtual reality. You can do whatever you want in virtual reality. You can get a girlfriend. You can be a professional sports player. You can have a six-pack in virtual reality. And, and Nintendo just sticks with the same formula that keeps going down. No one wants to keep just running side to side and jumping side to side. And people say it's so innovative because they added a flower in it. It's just a freaking flower. Don't even give, don't even get me started on that freaking flower. Y'all know what that flower really is supposed to represent, right? I think everybody has a good idea about flowers and mushrooms growing out of the ground. And if you don't know, that is I that is D R U G E S. And that is what Nintendo is trying to do to America. When you when you eat one of these flowers, everything gets all crazy and happy, but that's not what happens in real life. But they're trying to portray that to us because they want to brainwash us. I want you to think about this. You know Nintendo was founded in Japan. And you know that's where the real headquarters is. And you know in Japan and China, when kids are watching TikTok, where it was TikTok was created, they get all educational content. They get to learn how to build rocket ships, how to do math, how to do a lot of smart stuff. But TikTok in America... Kids are just watching stupid stuff. They're watching bad things. They're watching things that aren't going to increase their brain capabilities. So already, TikTok is making America worse. And then they send over this game Mario Wonder to make us think that eating the flowers and doing the D-R-U-G-E-S is going to make everything so much better. But in reality, it's not going to do that. And this is a ploy on America. They're trying to infiltrate our brains and teach us bad stuff. They're trying to teach us how to be dumb. They're trying to teach us to do, do, to do D-G-R-U-E-S. Because they want to take, they want to be the superior country. They want to be number one in the world. Everybody knows for the longest time, it's been USA, USA, USA. And now the tides are changing. And the and the winds, there's winds of change in the air. And it's time for us, 
as American people to stand up and quit buying these games that aren't increasing our capabilities. Buy a virtual reality helmet. Learn how to socialize. Get in these chat rooms. That's what I've been doing. Listen, I've been gaming for 40 years. And I'm telling you, virtual reality is the biggest thing that's going to help you become the greatest person in the world. I have a virtual reality helmet. Every game I play, every chat room I get into, I'm able to talk to anybody. I got a bunch of girlfriends and it's helping me become, in virtual reality, and it's helping me become better person. I'm learning how to do so much because of virtual reality. And Nintendo doesn't want you to do virtual reality. They don't want you doing doing none of that. They don't want you talking to anybody. They just want you sitting in your room playing your game. And that's why you should not buy Mario Wonder, number one, because I got three reasons and I already gave you two. Number one, because it's the same formula. Nothing's new. Number two, they're trying to teach you that D-G-R-U-E-S is good, but it's not good. It is bad. And look, I, I don't even know if I want to say this because I don't want to put a target on my back. But it has to be said. Sometimes in the world, we have decisions that we have to make and we have to realize is this for the greater good? And am I, am I willing to sacrifice to succeed the overall mission? Am I willing to lose the battle to win the war? Because that's what's wrong with most people today. Is they're unafraid of sacrifice. And they're afraid of discipline. And they don't understand what it takes to win. Because here's the issue with Mario Wonder. There is no winner. There is no losers. There's only winners. You only win. You never lose. You, it's not even a score type of game. If you die, you just come right back. You just get more lives. There's no risk in this game. There is no winner. If you play with your friend, you're both playing to win. So you can play co-op, but you both win. There is no winner and loser. And I'm so tired of everybody just getting participation trophies. That's what doesn't build character. If you want to build character, if you want to build a country with a backbone, you need to have winners and losers. Because when you get in the real world, there's winners and there's losers and there's nothing in between. So you need to realize that these Mario games are trying to make our country weak. They're trying to teach our people how to be undisciplined, unmotivated, and unknowing how to win. But I can guarantee you, I'm going to win. That's why virtual reality is better than Mario Wonder. This video is going to save you $70.